We knew that it was. Um, we knew that it was a lot of work, and 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 we, you know, we there was a, there was a certain way we wanted to do it, you know, and and we had seen a lot of programs doing it different different ways, and we just wanted to we wanted to make sure that we put together a philosophy where we put the kids first and we put skill development first. Um, those were the two biggest things, and and we we said if we're gonna do this, let's do this right because if we don't do it right. Um, you know, yeah, we'll last, you know, maybe three, four, five years because of the relationships that we built, because of the trust through our skills pro, you know, through our skills workouts. But we want to, uh, you know, we want to be everlasting. And so we wanted to make sure that we put the kids first. We want to make sure that we never, never forgot that it's all about the foundation and the skill development. And, you know, our third, you know, our second, third grade teams, um, you know, get as much attention and get as much individual instruction as our, you know, as our 12th grade seniors. Uh, do as well and so you know we've been blessed we've been grateful to grow um, at a pretty rapid rate um, you know but I think uh, you know we continue to just work hard and we're trying to do the right things by our kids and and trying to get them into college to play the sport that they love so I would say I have modeled my game after UConn a lot um, Frank introduced me to them when I was in sixth grade when I first started playing with them and I, I love the way Gino Ariyama coaches, and I've looked up to Brianna Stewart, who's gone on to play in the WNBA, so I really modeled my game after them. I've always been working on my defense, especially. I'm, I'm not the fastest player on the court, but I always try to make the stops and play defense as well as I can, and that's something I've always tried to improve on. So just locking that down during the spring and really showing off how much I've improved there. So yes, I do have hopes to play basketball in college as well as softball. I play softball and soccer as well. So I'm looking D2 and D3, some D1 schools, mostly in the area in New England. Um, UConn being one of them, like I mentioned earlier, I really modeled my game after them. And um, I think I've looked at Southern New Hampshire University, St. Anselm College, Riviera University, which is really close to my, my hometown. So lots of places in New England. Right now, because I'm one of the older girls in the program, I give back and I go down and I help out um, the third and fourth grade team. I think they're fourth and fifth grade now. I've been with them for a couple of years. And I just love going to practices and tournaments and how energetic they are and just love seeing them play and improve. And being able to be a part of that is just so great because you know you, you kind of inspired them in a way because they're looking up to you at your practices when they come in after or come in before. And they're like, wow, I want to be like that someday. So that's one of those really heartwarming things that comes through and it's like I want to keep doing this I just want to keep giving back honestly I'm looking forward to being able to compete for my last season and finish strong but I love the girls and I love the program and I just love the intensity that practices bring and the way it challenges me to be a better person and a better player so just the all-around finishing up and getting through another season and having so much fun with it We reflected a lot on our program and kind of where it was and and you know because of the growth we wanted to make sure because you know our biggest thing is no matter how many athletes we want to make sure we we know everybody we know everybody's first name we know everybody's family because that's a huge that was a huge draw for us and so and, and we wanted to continue that we felt like we were losing that a little bit so the covid the the, the spring months really gave us an opportunity to reflect on our program what can we do to to to, to get better what can we do to give back to our kids a little bit and and so um, and then once you know once we were able to start to kind of do some stuff over the summer and into the fall you know it really um, it kind of re-energized us a little bit the, the parents have to trust us and the kids have to improve um, and if we can get those two things down that's going to speak for itself and and i think that's what we do we don't just funnel 50, 60 kids in the gym. We, we have individual practices. Um, we look for good coaches that can teach them. Um, you know, it was, we hire people that, have, that know basketball. There's no parent volunteers um, or there's not one coach coaching eight teams. Um, 
you know, it's everybody's coaching their team and they develop and we have early development, we have middle school, and then we have high school. We have to teach these kids how to play basketball and get them to improve. And sometimes it takes a while, you, you know what I mean? But you see it as they go four or five years later, like Maddie, I remember Maddie as a third grader. And now I see her as an 11th grader and she is such a phenomenal player. And she's bypassing kids, in my opinion, that you know might've been better than her when she was younger. But she, and, and it's not all because of us, it's because of Maddie Bowen, but we, the program has to offer that and the program has to stick to that foundation. And if there's a kid like Maddie Bowen who puts it together and does the work on her end, that's when you see the benefits. Community is huge for us. I mean, community is really, really important to us. Um, we, we try to do as much as we can in the community in addition to just running our basketball program and the communities surrounding, you know, whether it's Hudson, whether it's Nashville, whether it's Londonderry, um, you know, um, whether it's a couple of the towns down in Mass before COVID, you know, uh, community is important to us and, and we, 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 we try to give back as much as possible and, and, you know, with time more than anything else, whether it's running the skills and drills over, you know, we had, I know we, you know, I'm not sure if I wasn't last Memorial, um, Memorial Day weekend, but it was Memorial Day weekend after that, we offered a, you know, a one or two day, you know, um, you know, free, free skills for kids to come in and work out. So, you know, we, we always try to give it back because community is important to us. You know, uh, we've had a lot of people in, in, and a lot of communities really, really, uh, like Frank said, entrust us with their, with their young athletes. And so that's been huge for us. It's all about making the season memorable, right? We want you to improve. We want, there's that huge, you know, there's the big basketball aspect of it, absolutely. But, you know, we want you to have a memorable season. We want you to make new friends. We want you to have fun. We want you to take memories away. Cause in the end, you know, you know, for Maddie, you know, in, in 10, 15, 20 years from now, you know, yeah, she'll remember the wins and she'll remember some of the tournaments, but it's going to be the, it's going to be her friends, right? That, that she still talks to. It's going to be the relationships that she's built. And so we really, really work hard to foster those types of things in our program, because we want, we want, we want our kids, especially at the younger age to, to feel, you know, to feel that, that those friendships and to, to feel like they belong. Um, so yeah, absolutely. Those, those are things as well. Try to develop their basketball IQ. You know, I, I'd rather have, especially with the high school group, I'd rather them read a defense and, and make the decision uh, than, than rely on a, you know, a set, a play, a coach to tell them, hey, you know, it, and, and sometimes people get, you know, oh, that, that, that takes time. Well, yeah, if you know what, if you keep your players, um, you know, and you develop them, um, pretty soon that chemistry goes. Um, you know, and, and they're making reads out there and they're creating and, and And it's really a simple game. It's, you want to put the ball in the basket. I could, and I tell my girls all the time, I could have Gino Ariema come in, write up a play. But if a, if a defender falls down at the on the block, on the low block, are you going to run the play or are you going to get the ball to your teammate because her defender just fell down? You're going to yeah. get the ball to her defender. Yeah. You know, because the defender fell and you're going to put it in. It, and that's the stuff that, you know, I try to teach them. To, to climb a ladder to cut the net i don't think in, i mean those kids may those kids may never experience something like that ever again right i mean That's you know crazy. yeah you move on to play college basketball at d1 d2 d3 whatever it happens to be you may never cut a net down right most likely so you know that experience for them i know they were they were giddy they you know i couldn't get the smile off their faces they were so excited Gonna be seeing our logo in a lot of states. That's what you're gonna see. Uh -huh. uh, you know, I, I mean, we just want to grow, and, and that's what we're gonna do. Um, you know, we, we we're making connections along the way. We love partnering with you guys. Um, you know, you guys are in multi states. Um, you know, so just grow and and have people see that we're different. Family. Uh, memories. Memories would be my word. Memories. 
whether it's on the court memories or off the court memories, uh, I would say memories is, is, is pretty accurate. Tough. Not, not just physically tough, but mentally tough as well. I think you can expect to see us work hard on and off the court and just be great teammates, great athletes, full of sportsmanship, just working hard and getting working for every minute we get and just bringing that onto every play of the game.